Welcome. Today is a bit of a milestone for the Nissan. Today we're going to be resetting the TPMS. And the reason it's a milestone is that the TPMS light is the last warning light on the dash that is still lit as of today. So if everything goes well today, uh, we'll have a clear dash, no more, uh, no more warning codes, no more TPMS, no more windshield wiper fluid warning. All the lights will be off. It'll just be a normal, dependable SUV. So uh, exciting, exciting stuff. The main things to know about this job are uh, you need to have your tires at a very specific uh, PSI, which we'll talk about in a minute. And uh, you don't need any special tools. Uh, you know, Nissan will tell you that you need to get a little reset gun. Um, it's actually a very simple grounding process from a, a simple plug underneath the dash. And that's all that you'll need, all right? You'll need like a little paper clip or a piece of metal. And then, of course, a tire pressure um, gauge. And that's it. So uh, let's get started. The first step to resetting the TPMS is getting the tires at the correct pressure. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the pressures on the screen. Um, just make sure that they're correct within you know, one or two PSI. Uh, you can't be exact, uh, mostly because just driving will change the PSI of the tire. But uh, get them as close as you can, and then we're gonna head under the dash to ground out that wire and get to some driving. All right, once you have all the uh, tires to the proper pressure, uh, just go ahead and find your TPMS reset clip. Uh, this is the OBD2 reader, and it's sitting right behind it. Just a little single wire poking out and it has a little connector on it. Now, if you were to go to the dealership, this is where they would plug in and just ground out. So um, you, don't really, you don't really need to go to them. So what I have here is uh, just a little paper clip. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna connect it through the back of the connector, okay? It's kind of easier that way. Just kind of give it a good push in there. And now this uh, little clip that is holding on, uh, holding the OBD2 to the truck is actually uh, a ground, all right? So it's a, it works to ground. So what you wanna do, get that in there nice and tight, and then we're gonna turn the key. And then when you turn the key, this you kinda gotta act quickly on this one. So you turn the key, you tap this six times against this connector, all right, against this clip, so you're grounding out this wire six times is all you're doing. And you have to do that within a few seconds. Once, uh, if you've done it correctly, the uh, OBD2, or excuse me, the uh, TPMS light on the actual instrument panel will start flashing. So uh, get your paper clip ready. So we have that ready. I'm gonna put the key in. The, in. All right, leave it in the off position for a second. And then we are going to turn the key to the on position, all right? Not starting it, but on. On, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the TPMS should be flashing. All right, it's flashing. So now, you wanna get in. Start her up. And now you want to drive it. So basically, drive it um, slowly for about, I don't know, less than 10 minutes it should be. So let's uh, get this going here, get out of the driveway. All right. And it's going to keep flashing. And what's going to happen is eventually it's going to just turn off. So you can go, I mean, just, just normal driving, nothing crazy. You don't have to go super fast, super slow, whatever. Just uh, keep it in normal like neighborhood driving speed. And uh, it could take you know, a little bit to reset. Could take a while, it could take up to 10 minutes, who knows. Um, we're just gonna give this a drive here and just keep going until we see it turn off, so. Okay, so we got what we are looking for, which is the light turns off, uh, starts blinking, turns off, and then turns solid. Um, what that means is you're going to, um, it reset itself, but then it found that the tire pressure is 
obviously not correct, right? Because we have all of the weird tire pressures going on. So at this point, we're gonna go and uh, refill our tires to the proper PSI and that light should go off and then that's it. So um, as always, I, you know, comments, questions, suggestions in uh, the comments below and thank you so much for watching.